What's good, everybody? Welcome to Life on Beagle Road. Uh, can't believe Courtney roped me into this again. Whatever. I guess I roped her into it the first time. She roped me into it this time. Anyway, today we're going to tackle that there shed. Yeah, we want to put a loft in it, but uh, first I think I got to get in there and clean it out. Because it's a mess and there's a lot of stuff in there that's just got to go. All right, so I think what I gotta do first is take out all the stuff that is keep, put it on one side, take all the stuff that's not keep, and put it on the other side. Because my goal here is to eventually have a loft up here where we can put anything that's sort of on a long-term seasonal storage, and then all the things down below are the things that we go at fairly often, or that are obviously too big to put up in the loft. Yeah, so that's, that's my job. What is this? This is a baby safety gate. Don't need the baby safety gate anymore. Still gonna need this. Okay, so I've got most of this stuff out of this shed. I'm drenched in sweat. I mean, look at this. This is disgusting. I'm not really sure what this is. I think I have a dad bod going, like my big belly, and then my other belly. Like, what's this pit? I don't really know. Let's ignore, like, I even showed you that or that it even happened. Either way, I've got just about everything out of this shed. I still have some more things. It's kind of dark, so I don't know what you can really see. I think one of my major issues that I'm going to have here is the fact that I don't have a very large get rid of pile. I have a really large, what the heck am I gonna do with this stuff pile? So I feel like I gotta go through this big, what am I gonna do with this pile? And say, hey, this gots to go. Like for real, like somewhere under this pile here is about, I don't know, 12 life vests. So we're gonna take some of those and put them over here. If you don't remember, or maybe you're new to our channel, I, um, in addition to being a school counselor at one point in time, I also coached soccer for whoo, almost 20 years. And um, down in this pile here is all kinds of soccer equipment that I've collected over the years that I don't really feel like I need anymore. I'm taking like a small retirement from coaching. I want to take a break and spend more time with my family and kids and not be on the road every single weekend. Eventually I'm gonna get back to it, but I still don't think I need like five bags of soccer balls. Like I don't even take balls to training anymore. I just had the kids bring their own balls, which is fantastic. But I've got like balls and balls and ball. I'm setting myself up here, aren't I? I've got balls and balls and balls. All right, moving on. I've even got a bin of socks. Like why do I have a bin of socks anymore? I used to be a head coach for uh, a couple different schools along the way. I also used to coach at a college, and I think I just sort of amassed all of this stuff and felt bad getting rid of it. It's gotta go. One of the weirdest things I found in here was like, I think a dead bird maybe. Pretty sure it's a dead bird. I don't know what kind of bird. Might have been a bird that flew in here and got stuck, couldn't find its way out. Could have been one of our birds that was looking for some refuge. I don't really know. There's no died in here. Blah. All 
All right, so I think I've done a pretty good job of getting everything out, cleaning it all up in here. I almost don't even wanna put anything in here. It's just amazing that it's all cleaned up again. Problem is, is I do have to put some stuff back, even though I don't want to. It's hurting a little bit. Part of me really just wants to store lumber in here. Wouldn't it be great if I could just keep all of my lumber in here? It'd be so dry. Oh man, I'll never be allowed to do that. Nor would it all fit in here, let's be real. I have too much. Before I start loading this up, I do have to have a better idea of what I'm gonna put up in that loft and what's gonna stay down at the bottom. So I'm gonna have to go through this mess over here. Ugh, I don't really want to, but I'm gonna have to separate it between uh, what is loftable and what is not. I also wanna get some racks for the bikes. I think I'm gonna get some sort of pulleys or something and put them up with pulleys. So they'll go in last so I can do that later. I also don't wanna load this up completely because then I'm just gonna have to take it all out again when I go to build the loft. This is just part one. I don't even have the materials to build the loft yet. That's gonna be another day. Well, because when it's vlogist, I don't get to have the magic of editing and show you, oh, look at that. But hey, that's another day and another day of August or another day of vlogist. So, all right, let's get to this mess and see what I can come up with. soccer stuff. Life vests. Saving a lot of lives here on Beagle Road with these life vests. Whoo! All right, so my little helper and I have been loading up the shed a little bit. Uh, as you can see, there is not a whole lot left in the yard. We've gotten pretty much all of it. The soccer stuff is all going to go into long-term storage. That I decided about early since I'm not going to be doing it for a while perfect to put it up top. It's not gonna fill up that whole space, so there's still plenty of room for anything else that we want to go up there that maybe just isn't in the shed yet. Right, Emmy? Yep. Yep. <laughs> this time when I put everything away, I made sure to sort of organize it. So I've got stuff over in this corner that's all like camping, beach, toys, whatever. Over here, it's got some other stuff that I can't remember, but it's organized. What? Weed whackers, yep. chains, brooms. Yep, weed whackers over here. Bungee cords. Used some bungee cords to wrap up our paddles. Hung up the, uh, the chains and the come-alongs. This over here is meant for our garden tools, but we have so many that it, it pretty much packs up this whole area, so we've got to change that up a bit. So they're just all kind of over here, laying on the ground. We've got so many, and I hate to get rid of some because, you know, you always find a use for it. And the real moral of this story is probably that I hate to get rid of anything, really. So that's kind of where the problem begins, but got that taken care of. Got a little line here that lets me know where the loft actually stops, so that way I didn't put anything that would block it. I'm going to get the rest of this junk and just lay it in here until it's time. That way that's the only stuff that I have to get out. And uh, when we're ready to do the loft, I'll see you on that video. So. Have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow. Remember to thumbs up and like the video. Do it.